Hi friends, I am Rijo. Today we are planning to cover the topic how to we can add our custom domain name in the Azure web app. So what is the learning objective today you are planning to discussing introduction of custom domain name and demonstrate how to we can add the custom domain in the Azure portal. So just we will go for our learning objective. So once uh, you are creating for your app, example you are creating your app in like a Rijo scale, then the Azure will be automatically provide the URL like Rijo skill dot Azure website dot net like this one, okay so the Azure will be provide the default domain name uh, is like a Azure website dot net then add the subdomain name, okay so you need to change this uh, like this name like a dot Azure website dot net your own website see like a Rijo skill dot com like Apple and Google so we will discussing how to we can add this one so first we need to check what is the app service plan will be supporting for the adding the custom domain name okay so free service free app service will not support for the adding the custom domain name. you can only for supporting for the basic standard and free so after that you just add your custom domain and the Azure will be provide the dns record then the, you when that take that dns okay record and paste it in your dns zone in where you are home publishing in your uh, domain is like a godaddy or is like a is like a, what is the hosting service provider you just uh, change your dns record so i will show you each and every step in our azure portal so first we will go for the azure portal then we will check okay hi friends and now we re reach our azure portal so we just uh, go for our azure app service and app service plan so just uh, we can click here azure app service you currently using the free trial okay so just i will just go for my app service just click our app service so here is the app service the pricing tier is also free okay here too. just you click your video skin so first we need to check we can add the we can add the custom domain in the free plan so just to go for here custom domain so currently our plan is using free okay so just to, we will go for our custom domain so currently you cannot add the custom domain because your plan is like a free plan so we need to upgrade our for how to we can you can upgrade from here also you can upgrade from your overview so just we will directly go for upgrade now from here so here you can see what is the service plan will be supporting for the custom domain so just wait for the loading so here you just click the future view you can see the custom domain will not supporting for the free and shared d1 okay so what we needed to change it to our plan to basic or standard or premium then only supporting for the custom domain so just we will go for our basic v1 plan then select so just our plan will be upgraded okay so after our plan will be upgraded we can change our the custom domain okay so just you will go for resource skills custom domain just to wait for the upgradation it will take little time for the the site will be loaded just to refresh again so if you not know, just to go for the overview then again come back for the custom domain because here your plan will be changed to the basic v1 so just to go for again the custom domain click the custom domain see now you can add our the custom domain so here you can see your web page i will show you your web pages currently your web page like so currently your web page see currently your web page like rejoskill.ashwa.website.com so we need to change it for rejoskill.com okay so how to we can change this one so just we will go for our uh, custom domain so click here your custom domain then after that add the custom domain so how to we can add here you can see domain provider so who is the domain provider you have two options you can purchase from on from the azure website uh, or you can purchase from godaddy or who is the provider okay so i am already purchased from the godaddy so just i will all other thing. so tls if you have already your certificate you can install that certificate if you don't have you can purchase from the azure portal also app service managed by the default setting and sni ssl type okay default 
so what is my custom domain i just add i just go for uh, our godaddy website so my custom domain is rizzo skill.com because i am already purchased from the godaddy rizzo skill so just copy that one then paste it here then after that the host name and record type will be provided from the ashok portal so here you can see domain validate so just to copy this record and paste it in your dns in the godaddy if you have another uh, host provider you just change your record type there okay so i just go for my uh, dns then i just add our record so what is the value i copy okay. then at then what is this one error code so you just see that what is the time to leave just i will put one hour then add record so whatever the txt just to go for your txt recorder then just copy here then copy your string value then copy so what is the time then save our record so click this one so once you updating your dns record so successfully your dns record will be added you can check here a record already added and txt already so just to go for here and validate so just waiting for the validation so then the asho portal will be checked here so currently validation because dns record not found in the txt record. just again you just click the validate so sometime it take little bit time So just waiting for the validation see currently it validated so we will just add our record. so now you can see here add in the custom domain in the ssl file so here you can see your custom domain now currently add. so no binding so you need to binding means you need to bind your record so action delete so just add binding Click the add binding. So add with the rejo skill as an the create source type as a certificate method. So validate. Because as a certificate will be validated. So add it. So now currently you will add your whatever the SS certificate will be provided by the Asha portal. So we already add our Rejo skill website. Okay. So just wait for the configuration so now we will uh, complete our rejoskill.com and uh, we already bind before you know before is coming like a red color now we already bind our uh, with sn ssl okay so we will need to check uh, the domain is working or not just we will go here the overview page you can see here also here also default domain rejo and custom domain is uh, rejo skill dot just to copy this with the name and we will just go for our new private window then we will paste for here and we will check the custom domain is already see now you can see here our custom domain added http rejo.skill.co right and also you can go here also you can see here see the same web pages will be added so now also rejo skill is working so now you understand how to we can add our custom domain and uh, how to we can publish the our website okay so now i wind up my topic i think uh, everyone liked my video if you like my video please subscribe my channel and support me thank you so much